This is apparently a moat that surrounded the Imperial City. At least I think that's what this is. I don't know if this is just a body of water or a complete moat. I'll have to investigate a bit. But if it is, absolutely the same as Angkor Wat. Of course, their moats, and it may be the case here, functioned as a reservoir system which provided water for crops which gave the emperor in those contexts um, great power because he controlled the water. Okay it looks like this is a moat that does seem to continue around indicating that it originally went all around the uh, Forbidden City. Here is another arrow tower. They're called arrow towers found at the four corners of the Forbidden City. This must have been the view of the average person if they could even get this close. They could only imagine the opulence of the life of the emperor. To them it must have been equivalent to what anyone might imagine in their time heaven to be. On the other hand, if the foreign troops got this far, well, how long did you think you could hold out? Tuk-tuk ride passenger view. Interesting scam. This older man was driving and he stopped a little bit beyond here and then his son took over and jacked the price up, which I refused to pay. just about dusk and I'm just getting back from my long day because I started around 7.30 at the Forbidden City. When I got back to my subway, I discovered I went down into the grocery uh, which is in the second floor of the huge department store across the street. I discovered Watson soda water. Now I only have to find a place that has it cold. Very few places have anything other than mildly cool. It's very hard to find something cold. At the supermarket also discovered a bin full of these little round jobbies <clears throat> which looked like they were baked. I didn't know what was inside it, still don't. I think they are some form of a convection probably. There are elements of it that are chewy and sugary, and um, some of it is crunchy, and maybe like chunks of fruit or dried fruit. And as I sit here videoing my food, as I have throughout the day, Chinese people will chuckle at me, realizing what I'm doing. Good score. Beijing planning an exhibit building, uh, this large all glass building being restored or certainly worked on. And it's directly behind the old China Railroad Station, which now holds the China Railroad Museum, which is kitty corner across from the uh, Zhang Yang Men Gate, south gate of Tiananmen Square. Today, which is my third day in Beijing. I am concentrating on the foreign legation area. This is the area uh, formerly or perhaps presently occupied by foreign legations. Duh. That's the name of the street that we're on. This apparently is a former Dutch legation building. Don't know what it's used for now. So this is just a picture of what a uh, small portion of the street used to be during its history, not sure when the date was, but it's always been an important street. It used to be known as Rice Alley, and in the Ming and Qing dynasties it was for government offices, and then in 1900 it became uh, Dong Xiumin Zheng Alley, a distinct 
district for foreign embassies for nations such as France and Japan, the USA, Germany, Russia, Belgium, Holland, Italy, Austria, all of the European nations that were attempting to develop trade relations. And it also housed many of the foreign banks, uh, HSBC from Britain, Yokohama Bank, Deutsche something or other bank, and the Bank of Indochine, uh, which is China, or French rather. It was also a street that had the French, German, and American hospital and a French post. Now I have no idea what's behind these walls, but it's a protected entrance, nicely maintained, so I would suspect that it's a set of different agencies that were noted on the uh, sidewall for the entrance, but kind of place where you be a little bit careful what you photograph and you're wise to ask the person that looks most official if you can use your video. And you do that by simply pointing to your video. They'll get the point. We're going east right now, which you may detect from the shadows. We're actually going slightly northeast, but uh, away from Tiananmen Square. You can see there's neighboring areas to the left behind these walls. That doesn't look like a very good area but it may just be parking for a very good area. The trees, if not the majority of uh, buildings, and the obstructive walls uh, is somewhat reminiscent of the Egyptian foreign embassy area, if for no other reason too, the quiet and the lovely trees that create a shade arbor. Here an interesting entryway he speaks of something European. This is number 40, the former Dutch leg legation building. This one has pillars, but it's not a red brick building, building. although the pillars are impressive. Don't know what it, it does sit directly behind what I think is the National Chinese National Museum on Tiananmen Square. Another impressive building next door, but looks relatively new, at least the exterior. And this is the Beijing Police Museum. It was once the first national bank of New York City. Okay, here's the impressive red brick building with large faux pillars on the front. impressive looking metal gate and that was formerly the bank of Indochina in other words a French bank looks like the um, comments that were there on Mao have been removed same with the saying that apparently once was on the left side unless those writings were on this window beneath uh, what we can see and this wall was not here but this wall I suspect was always here this is one of the electro pedals scooters made by Honda, apparently, um, that I think is really cool. They're so quiet. Next building we're looking for is the Zheng Yi uh, build on this boulevard, and it goes in both directions. That red domed building is the former Yokohama Specie Bank. I don't know what the word specie means in that sense. Here in the middle of Jingji Boulevard is this lovely little park. Perhaps it was a formal wall of the city, I don't know, that would allow them to have this much space here. And looking in the opposite direction, you can see it goes quite a distance, so it may be something to respite on a little bit later this afternoon.